Good morning, good afternoon, good evening mga kababayan, mga subscriber, mga lahat po ng watching this vlog. Uh, today, we're introducing my husband. Excited na po kayo, excited din ako. At siya ay, hindi ko alam kung excited. But anyway, my husband, we've been married for over 25 years. We have uh, children together. Um, and also... He is actually an internal medicine po. Uh, he's been a chief of his staff up to hospital here in Sacramento. He's medical director for several nursing homes. He's medical director currently for hospice and currently a medical director also for one of the biggest insurance here in Sacramento. Um, po, uh, he owns uh, several clinics for several years. Kaya lang po, naibenta uh, po namin yun. And then, we're just retaining one uh, clinic now, which is very, very busy. Just kasi matatanda na po kami. We're old. And we're uh, trying to cut back at our work. And para makapag-retire, hopefully, we could uh, uh, stay in the Philippines for a little bit, here and there. Kung saan namin gusto. Anyway, he's working so hard. We are both working hard. Again, hoping that I could uh, vlog him today. We'll introduce him and then we will uh, ask some questions. As I said, he's been on internal medicine for 40 years. He has uh, hospital privileges. He works for hospital for a long time. He's a hospitalist. He is uh, he's a very caring doctor. He cares about his uh, patient. If the patient cannot come to the clinic, he goes to their home, he goes and visit nursing home, he goes and visit care homes, he goes and visit uh, hospice, yung mga malapit na pong mamamatay, he goes there sa bahay nila, kaya that's why we acquired King King, the dog, because we have to rescue. Um, again, uh, let's see if we could go and uh, see him, okay? Salamat po, let's see. Manong-san, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm busy. Well, I know you're busy, but... I'm too busy. You are uh, renovating uh, the clinic. Yeah, renovation. He's been renovating. We're making it uh, bigger, making it lo uh, look better. <laughs> Can you say hi to my subscriber, Manong-san? Hi. He, you are from Laguna, right? I'm from uh, Los Baños, Laguna. Los Baños, Laguna. Yeah. Manong Sam has been my handyman, I maintenance handyman. guy for the whole building po. And then, um, yeah. he's doing a great job. Actually, we sometimes have an opinion with each other, but sometimes we love each other. Diba Manong Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you Manong Sam. Yeah. So he's doing a great job. So we have to do it after work kasi po. Uh, we have a lot of patients and nandoon si mga iba kong staff Chantelle. Uh, we're finishing the day Dr. Smith works uh, he only works uh, once a week sa clinic because we have several providers meron po kaming mga uh, ibang providers so uh, let me go and see what we have this is the extent of our uh, Gusto ko pang ipaalis yung mga Ayan po yung mga providers namin uh, 2, 4, 6 Actually Yes, and then Also po This is, we have a pain management Okay, and po ang pain management namin Si Dr. Tyson Landesa And there is a lab and this is po uh, ano ng aming clinic, kasama ng aming clinic. Ayan po uh, our uh, clinical, Center for Clinical Trial of Sacramento under Dr. Rebecca Jordan, which is our partner. She's a neurology po and she practices at our clinic also. Hello everyone, I finally got uh, Dr. Smith to uh, do a face reveal today. He just finished working at the clinic. Um, I know he's very busy. We've been waiting for him to finish. And salamat po sa paghihintay. I want to introduce you my husband. I'll call him my husband when at home, but when he's uh, at the clinic, I called him Dr. Smith for a professional level. 
Okay, so Dr. Smith, welcome to King and Bella blog. And this is my Good evening. husband. So say something to my viewers, please. Good evening and welcome. <laughs> That's it. Well, Dr. Smith, a lot of viewers is asking uh, about, uh, there's a question. We're going to go about you personally in another blog, but there's a question about why did we choose Pogong Viajero, which is Paul Tesalona, to help Copar's blog, those PB team, for a charity bloggers. There are charity bloggers in the Philippines. I explained it to you. So why did you choose him? To continue our work well we have been involved in charity endeavors across the world actually for 25 years um, mm -hmm. and although we're not exclusive with with Paul he is doing excellent work um, and so we decided that he could continue what we've done in the Philippines uh, working with individuals but also with entire villages when necessary and when we thought there was a benefit um, including maybe setting up a um, a medical mission in the future if needed yes that's our um, goal for uh, probably this year we're gonna collaborate with uh, the pb team and we will do a medical mission probably at least for a few days uh, all over uh, we prefer uh, Abra or yeah, Ilocos. Ilocos area. So again, that's one of our goal and we will announce that very soon. Uh, there's a viewer, Dr. Smith, that asking, I forget his name, her name, but she's asking about, she said she has a cyst on her left ovary that was diagnosed at 2005. After that, she never went back for ultrasound. So is there any suggestion? I know you, you're not here to give a diagnosis. You're not here to advise her, you know, what to take or anything like that. But is there any suggestion? What can she do next after 2005? Well, obviously, um, a cyst <clears throat> may take several paths over time. When a woman has a cyst, I'm assuming, on her ovary. Left ovary. She has a decision to make, but it depends a lot on her age and the size of the cyst and what her history is with regard to childbearing. So there's no simple answer. This is very complicated. Um, I would reassure her that 2005 is either 17 or 18 years ago that would pretty much guarantee that the cyst is benign and not a malignant problem okay. with that much time elapsed and no complications not needing to present to the hospital or to another doctor but to really follow up um, since she may have had it before her menopause or around the time of menopause uh, it should have been reinvestigated with another ultrasound sometime in the, the last 18 years. Probably should have been done two to five years after the initial uh, ultrasound. So but to answer the question would require an ultrasound and a little more background. Okay. So po yung sabi niya, kung intindihan niyo po yung, uh, that's 17, 18 years ago yung ultrasound nyo. So please repeat yung ultrasound uli. Titignan natin. Uh, sabi niya, reassure niya na benign yun kasi it lasts that long. Okay? So that's, uh, hopefully will answer your question. Again, we cannot prescribe. We cannot, he cannot. Uh, I can only give opinion. Oh yeah, he can only give opinion. And it will often be in general terms because the information is incomplete and I have not examined you in person. Yes, thank you. Hindi po kayo na-examine daw, kaya hindi po nyo pwedeng magbigay ng kung ano dyan, opinion lang po yun. It's an advice that you at least repeat the ultrasound. And then also there's another patient that asks, uh, the husband has a GERD. Uh, sabi niya, she said, the husband already, chew, you know, limited all the food that she could eat. 
to irritate the GERD. So, ano pa, what can the husband take uh, so that the GERD will lessen? And I know, you know, there's some food that he needs to avoid. So can you elaborate that, Dr. Smith? Well, before I answer that question, I'm going to uh, state that although I have been told by you that the husband has perfected his diet, I would need to know for sure that that is the case. In general, on questioning, I might find that there is perhaps one or two offending dietary uh, ingredients that are still likely to cause trouble. And first would be to be sure that the diet is not at fault because that is the simplest and safest remedy is perfecting your diet. Secondly, you must understand that your age, medical conditions, and your body style do affect reflux and the ability to control it. Then the propensity to um, take meals and even drinking water after dinner will affect you during the night, which is when most patients are the most symptomatic. Mm -hmm. So if we took all of that into account and positioning, bending, tight belts, tight clothes, there's so many factors that we would need to work on. And we could have a whole session on this with a couple of patients mm -hmm. uh, easily. There are medications that are helpful, but I will caution everyone listening that relying on a medication when you should be doing it by diet is taking an unnecessary risk. Many times I give a patient a medication which is very successful and they're back in three months because they're now cheating on the diet because the medication worked. Mm -hmm. And I would hate to see that happen. Uh, however, I do prefer as a single agent that's available to everyone without prescription Famotidine, F-A-M-O-T-I-D-I-N-E. In the United States, this is sold over the counter without the necessity of a prescription everywhere. And it does have a brand name, Pepsid, P-E-P-C-I-D. It's sold in various milligram ranges, but one taken at night and is needed up to 40 milligrams in 24 hours can be very effective. It also uh, has the effect of helping to fight allergies. So uh, the, the possibility of the GERD coming from a food allergy and or reflux can both be mitigated or treated with this medication, which makes it superior to some of the others. Okay. Well, salamat po, that thank you for that answer. Again, he's suggesting a strict diet. Uh, hindi po namin alam kung anong kinakain ng asawa nyo. Kaya i-message nyo sa akin. I'll explain it to him. He's suggesting may famotidin dito sa si state. This is uh, generic name is Pepsid. Up to 40, brand name. I'm sorry. Uh, Alex is telling me no, you switch it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, also, uh, I don't know if it's available in the Philippines. Kung available po, punta, wala, hindi na kailangan ng prescription yun. And you can take that daw po up to 40 milligrams for within 24 hours. Am I right, Dr. That Smith? That is correct. Mm -hmm. So anyway, mga babayan, mga viewers, mga subscribers, lahat na tumitingkilik. This is just a preview of my husband. I'm glad he... Uh, agreed to be interviewed today we've been asking him for a while he's a very busy guy as i mentioned in the beginning he's a medical director of everything <laughs> nursing home hospice uh, one of the biggest insurance in sacramento so he has a lot of uh, obligation he has a lot of patients that's uh, depending on him and i said he has some help but we still as a supervisor he has to make sure everything runs smoothly. Salamat sa pagtangkilik. Next time we will do it again. We will uh, probably, if we can catch him again one evening like this, uh, we will blog him again. So please continue uh, 
sending your question. I only pick couple today. Just a simple question. Salamat, Dr. Smith. Thank you for... Salamat, Han. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> for agreeing to uh, be interviewed. And thank you for answering uh, a lot of questions regarding the Pogong Biajero team. Uh, we love you all. Uh, my husband and I, King and Bella, and everybody love you very, very much. Thank you sa pagtangkilik. Again, have a wonderful day in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, wonderful night, whoever, wherever you are. Uh, ingat lang po kayo. Take care. God bless everyone. Thank you.